so next we have a part of the ribbon which you probably don't see uh, right now but I can show you how to get this tab so what we will do is we will go to file then go to options when we click advanced here and scroll down to the very bottom you have a checkbox here it says run in developer mode this will allow you some extra functions for when you're creating complex visual drawings this is very handy so we will mark this checkbox click ok and then you get this tab and here again you can see your macros you can configure macros in here things like that we have some properties windows of our documents so very technical information we have the shape sheet so if we draw a shape here we can click this and it opens up an excel like form with a lot of data in there we'll cover it a bit more in detail in a second so i will close it up for now go back to my developer tab some operations where you can union uh, certain sets of shapes or combine them or fragment them things like that grouping operations and then the most important part is this one because i showed this panel right here you don't have it yet if you check this you will get the drawing explorer and a drawing explorer will allow you to for instance if i have a grouped shape so this is now a bigger shape around it with one visual visual shape inside it with one visible shape inside it and then we can just open this up right here and we can see our pages so open up the foreground pages we can see we only have one page it's called page one and it has one shape but you can already see this is a group shape and you can open it up again and again this has a set of shapes and in there we will find this one so if we then just click the shape you can also see it marked right here so if we click the shape in the drawing explorer we see it change here so that's what the drawing explorer is for if you have very complicated drawings you will be using this a lot especially if you get kind of lost in them after a while while you're uh, doing some maintenance on a certain drawing for instance So that's the developer tab. There's a bit more in there, but not super important. Lastly, we have the help tab, of course, which just has some contact support and things like that. If you're ever looking for something, use this text box. So we will say I'm looking for the drawing explorer. I can find it here and I can immediately check or uncheck it.